for you. Hello everyone, uh, this is Peter Antevi and welcome to another edition of the Antevi Minute. Today I wanted to talk about five ways to have a three-way. So the three-way stopcock is something that I really feel has use, uh, utility in EMS and the first two we've already covered. So use of adenosine with a three-way stopcock, we talked about that already and push dose pressors. You can go back and check out the Hentevi Minute for those two. The other three we'll talk about today are push-pull IV fluids, medication dilution, and then the poor man's jet ventilator. Okay, so the first thing let's talk about is push-pull IV fluids. You have a child who's in shock, their blood pressure is low, and you don't wanna just run that IV fluid in slowly, we wanna get it in quickly. So let's take a look at the setup. First we have our IV bag, our IV tubing, and here's our three-way stopcock. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach it to here. We're gonna attach this to the patient. And then we're gonna attach our 60cc lure lock syringe. And now we're gonna, have, we're gonna be off to the patient. And you can see here, by opening up the IV bag, we can pull right into the 60cc syringe. And then we can turn off to here and then will push right into the patient and I'll squirt a little bit and you go right into the patient that way. And then you turn it back off here and then you fill up again. You turn all the way the other way and you push into the patient again. And so essentially, in order to get 20 cc's per kilo into a child quickly, the only way to do it is with a three-way stopcock. Okay, next we'll talk about medication dilution. And one of the main medications we'll talk about is fentanyl. So if you think of fentanyl, if you look at the dosing and the volume, typically, for example, for a one-year-old, the dose will be somewhere around a very small number, like 0.2 ml. So what do you do about that for fentanyl? Let's take a look. So here's my fentanyl. I've drawn up 0.2 ml, but getting that through an IV uh, may not be the best idea. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll put it onto the three-way stopcock. We're going to go off here. We'll take a saline flush. We'll do here. And then simply, we're just gonna add some more volume to that syringe. So now, when we go up to the patient, we can actually give a larger volume of that medication into the IV. Things like ketamine, any of the benzos, I would recommend the same thing. And the fifth way to have a three-way is during the poor man's jet ventilator. So essentially, if you have a needle crike Pediatric patient, you cannot oxygenate, you cannot ventilate. Hopefully you'll never have to get to this point. But once you go through the trachea, you, you then need a few things. You need the adapter. So this adapter will hook right up to that catheter. Now you're gonna hook this up right to the three-way stopcock here. And then you're gonna hook that up to just basic oxygen tubing. So you have to squeeze that on really good. Okay, now that you're on, and this is going to the tubing, to the oxygen canister, and now essentially you keep the three-way off to nowhere. So essentially the entire system is open, you have oxygen streaming through here, and essentially every time you want to give a breath, you just cover that port. Breathe, and you can breathe again. And again, this is for higher pressures than you can get from a BVM. So now that I've told you five ways I like to have a three-way, I want to hear more from you. Let me know what ways you like to use a three-way. Thank you very much.